Hi babe, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vanya. Welcome back. So it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing kind of review of this product my friend recommended. Um, you're probably gonna be like, this is really crazy. Why would you order something like this? I know, I got this from the dark web. I know you're probably thinking V, you're crazy. But my friend recommended it and she said it was going to be a great product to make you feel five to ten years younger. Who doesn't want that? And it's going to clear your skin. It's good for the insides. You know, boosts the collagen. Who knows? So we're going to open this up. Oh, I think it's paint. I'm pretty sure this is paint. I don't think it's blood or anything. Ooh. It comes with this little note, so it's a little letter inside. It's very um interesting. It's very dirty too. Oh, it's making my hands really dirty. Okay, let's see what it says. Oh, so it has instructions of how to use the product. Um, so it says here that it will boost your collagen, and it doesn't say nothing about ingredients so this is a bit weird um it does say you know your your skin will start to clear up um it says it has very natural products so this is from the amazonian forest so it has all the natural ingredients which is what we want um but yeah i don't know it doesn't say nothing about warnings or anything oh maybe down here it may contain some side effects so just be aware hmm. oh well i mean we all take natural products and we all have that basic side effect so let's just have a look what's inside oh so this is what the box looks like inside it's very interesting it comes with like barks or wood or something and the bottle's really beautiful this is what the bottle looks like very lovely i love the color it has this beautiful little um tassel thing and a cute butterfly and let's have a look uh, let's open this up oh oh it does have a funky smell to it i don't know should i even be trying this like i feel like I don't know, I mean, a friend did recommend it, but I haven't spoken to her in a few months. So, I don't know. Let's hope he goes nothing. Oh. Um, yeah, it's not really my cup of tea. Oh, yuck. Okay. You know, like when you drink those green, um, what is it called? Those green juice? It's, it's like three or four times worse than that. Oh, well, we've got to skull it down. Oh, oh, okay. Just give me a second, guys. I'm going to go grab some water because this oh can't be washed down with something. Just give me a second. <coughs> <coughs> oh, yuck. I don't understand what's happening. Oh. I feel burning up. Oh, I'm so itchy. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm losing my hair. What's happening? Oh, there's something inside. Oh, I feel. I feel. <laughs> Hey everybody, so welcome uh, to the tutorial. So we're going to start off by doing some uh, layering down the side of the hair. We want this hair to look slick as we can to make it look like we're bold in this side. So I'm just slicking it down with some hair gel. And here I'm just going to measure around how, like, how I want this eye to look blind. Because that's where we're going to be sticking down this prosthetic. So I'm just laying down some hair gel. Now I found this actually really, really easy to apply 
uh, cottons. So this is the safest way too because you know it doesn't give you allergic reaction and it's easier also to apply the latex later around the edges so you don't have to be uh, putting latex in your eyeballs and please do get tested do not apply latex straight into your skin if you don't know if you're allergic or not you know always put it on your wrist or the back of your neck just to see if there's anything um, any allergic reactions um, so what I've done is just done a few layers of the cotton and I've done some texture around because we don't want it to look round and I'm doing the same thing just to apply it around my head area. This actually saved me a lot of time especially for when we want to apply latex on the hair. Uh, I recommend to put something underneath. Do not put latex in your hair. You regret it. Like literally. Um, also those dangly things I have hanging on my head, they actually face tapes. I've seen Mia Corner actually use them on her amazing models and I just had to ask her where she got them from and I'm obsessed with these. So they just give you that extra, you know, lift on the face. Um, but yeah, so here I'm just still doing a bit of texture and then before we apply the prosthetic, uh, which I'm going to show you guys here um, how I created it. So first what I've done is done the little sculpture with foil and then I did the little trick of latex and flour and just, you know, put it all around, let it dry. It actually didn't take that long to dry. It took probably like, I don't know, five hours? <laughs> uh, just a day. But um, here I'm just applying latex around the prosthetic just to set it down because we don't want it to move anywhere. But it was so easy to apply, like see that? I'm putting latex on top of the cotton. So this is safe, it's not gonna hurt my hair. Uh, here uh, you can see I did take my eye off because I couldn't see. Okay, literally I, could, I just couldn't stand it. I couldn't do the one eye thing. So here I'm showing you how I do my fake veins. I used just wool and the hair gel again actually. This is a really great idea to do. Uh, use the hair gel and just apply it around the areas where you want it and I'm just using a tweezers just to press it down Very easy very very easy like I said and just move them, you know adjust them around make them look a bit More of like that horror veiny, you know, like you want the thing to be taken over you So I'm just applying it around um, I did apply it around my forehead up around my nose around my lip it was very easy. I found this very, very affordable and quick to do, especially when you want to do a horror look. So here I'm just showing you guys how I'm doing it around and here's a quick video. By the way, this look was inspired by my favorite game, The Last of Us. If you know what this video game is, Oh, you know what this look is from, but this is just my own creative invention of my own monster character, if you get what I mean. All right, so now in for some shading. So I'm using the NYX Avon Pop in the shade black, as you can see here. Now this helped a lot to shade the areas that we want to look like the most effective area so I put it around my lip I put it around my nose and some are areas of the veins to make it look like it's like coming out through the skin if that makes sense I love the lip in the nose area I thought that was just look you know really really good um, so yeah just apply it on the areas that you need it the most don't apply it everywhere although it just looks dirty or messy So now we're going to apply it actually under the eye area. So we want to apply this in the bottom part where we have the dark circles or our bags as people call them and just enhance that. You must enhance it because we need to look the part, you know, we got to possess by this boosting collagen potion which just messed us up. So we need to boost it up and I'm using actually NYS brushes by the way. And here is the contour and highlight palette. This is the pro palette, my favorite palette, by the way. And I'm just using the darkest shade in this palette because I want to do a bit of shading around my mouth and 
it actually goes well with the black. So I just apply it around my nose, around my forehead, around the chin area. Give it a bit of more chiselness as well. You know, we need a bit of shape in the face. Uh, I'll put it around the veins. Um, I used a bigger brush here of NYX brushes and just applying it a little bit more around. Then I'm going to apply this also actually on the prosthetic uh, later on because I want the prosthetic to look a bit more brown as well. So here is the Ultimate NYX Colorful Palette. Now this palette, oh my god. Let me tell you, this is the, actually the palette I was wearing in my eyes too, by the way, which is the yellow and the orangey tones. And I'm using the green here, actually. Just apply it around. Uh, we want a bit of that fungusy, yucky sort of tone, and this just worked perfectly. So you can see I'm just applying it around the cotton area since we have to color it in. Um, I wouldn't suggest cream on cotton because it just gets so messy. So I'm, I'm just using powder. And then later on, actually, you can put cream on top of the powder. Um, I just feel like if you put cream on top of the cotton now, it's just going to, I don't know, it's going to grab onto it and it's just going to be a big mess. So I'm just applying it with the big NYX uh, brush again. And I'm using the oven pop again in the black and just putting that again in my head area. And, oh, this girl... If you don't have blood, just use a liquid lipstick. This is actually the tint. This is a uh, for your blush. It could be a blush. It could be a lips. It could be anything. It's a tint from the NYX line. And I'm just using this around the areas that we need blood. So, like I said, don't have blood. Just use the lipstick. This is perfect. Look at this. I'm making myself look like I've a bit um, irritated, a bit bruised. Um... And now you can see it, I'm doing some crazy thing with my eyeball. I actually put gel on my eye. So before it actually set, I just just push my eyelashes up to make it look a bit crazy. Like my eyeball went a bit, you know, messed up. Um, so I put that tint under the eye again. And here I'm just trying out to see what it looks like with the prosthetic. So now I didn't put it on the prosthetic yet. What I'm doing is doing veins. So I'm just using a small brush um, just to do some veins around, enhance them a little bit more. Uh, they actually look really good, when you, especially when you use a cream product. Um, just enhance the areas where you need it the most. And then we go in with the prosthetic and we stick that down. And by the way, I used gel for this. Yes, literally gel, just stuck it down with that and then use latex later um, just to go around the edges. Like I said, do not put latex right near the eye area because that, oh my God, let me tell you, I just had the worst experience with that. Also, the hands. Now, I didn't show how I did my hands because... Um, you know, I did exactly what I did on my face, on my hands. But yeah, it was just easy to do quickly. And it was a rough job. Let me just tell you that. So with the prosthetic in the eye, I'm just applying a black cream mixed with the black shadow again from Avon Pop. And just coloring that baby in. We need to look possessed. We need to look rotten a bit. Go in with that lipstick again. Give it a bit of dimension with red irritation. Um, you know, just give it everything you got into that eye area because this is like the main part. And now I'm just going in with some clear gloss. Look at what the gloss does to this prosthetic. It actually gives you this weird, disgusting, uh, slimy thing, especially what blood does. Yes, if you have blood, then go in and put it in. And this is the same effect with blood. But yeah, so that's it, guys. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this tutorial. And if you did like it, please thumbs it up. This is my entry for the NYX Cosmetics Australia 2019. And cross fingers, I get to the next round. If not, I had fun doing this. And thank you for watching. Love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.